As some of you may or may not know, we got Permroot yesterday. This is for developers, and it's an early preview, so it's not final. There's going to be bugs, and you're going to have issues, but they're going to fix them. Uh, I've been to the hospital, and now I'm out, so let's get this on the road. You need to download this for Windows or Linux if you want to use Linux, which I do plan on making a video on Linux, so that's in the works. Save it to desktop. It updated since yesterday, too. It was pre-6 before. Now it's pre-7. Save it to my desktop. Get this key. I have an Evo 3D. I have one four zero, and I gotta get my serial number. As far as all these numbers are aware, you cannot use any of these. I tried them all. Trust me. You have got to use this S dash N. Nothing else will work. Generate key. There's my key. Copy it. I use a clipboard manager to store old clippings. I use one for Android too, called Clipper. Right-click on Revolutionary, Extract 2. I use 7-Zip, by the way. I'm going to connect my phone now. You do need to have USB debugging enabled. And no, my phone is not rooted at this point. Now I wait for this phone to turn on. Before my phone starts up and I actually do this process, I did not do this. I'm simply making a video tutorial on how to do it. And it's actually pretty easy. These are all the people that had anything to do with it that Revolutionary and Undervote gave props to. Just going to turn on Wi-Fi real quick. Okay, double-click the Revolutionary. Where'd it go? Why did it go? Come back. Are you kidding me? What? Norton deleted freaking revolutionary. Options. Restore. Yes. Try this again. Revolutionary. There we go. That's the screen I saw on my wife's computer. Alright. Here we're just going to click up here. Edit. Paste. And that is my code. Enter. It got stuck on this screen before, but that was because we had HTC Sync installed. I do not have it installed in this computer. Ah, oh, that didn't happen before. Well, just power it off. It says S on. I don't know if I'm supposed to do it. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna push it this time. Oh, it says S off. I don't think I was supposed to push anything. Ah, oh, it says revolutionary. Do you want to download Flash Clockwork Recovery? Yes. Let me show you this real quick. <laughs> it exited. I'm going to choose the reboot to recovery. My phone does this and I don't know why. It doesn't reboot sometimes and you gotta pull the battery out and reboot it on your own volume down and power at the same time let go oh we still have s off sweet recovery clockwork recovery I'm going to make an Android backup right now Ah, oh, it's backing up YMAX. Awesome. It's taking a minute to back up everything. Here's the site with all the explanations. You will need to download this file right here to get root. MD5. Copy that. Down them all. Enter the MD5 right here. And click start. Yay, it matched. I think it's almost done. That's why I say I need a better camera because it can barely read that stuff right there. Generating MD5 sum. Little bars not really moving. Wow, it's taking a long time. I would all start to get my clothes ready because I'm going to Tennessee here in a little bit. Reboot system now. See, you can't read that at all unless you get right up on it. I hate this, it always feels like it's getting stuck right here. Come on! Do I need to unplug the charger? Unplug the charger back in! Oh, it vibrated. You have lights? Aw, oh, I changed it to Sprint! The guide says that you're supposed to write down some settings, and I didn't do that, so it might not work.
let's see if we have root. Okay, it does say we need to flash an update.zip. Alright, now we're going to take this SU zip. Reboot to recovery. I don't know. This video is going to be longer than I want it to, so I don't know if I'll even mess editing it today. Before you leave, if you want to put the odor on, it's in your bag in the side pocket. The, the red one's yours. Recovery. Install zip from SD card. Choose zip. And this one. And yes. Yeah, I had it say a custom banner. And whenever I flashed the root thing, it got rid of this custom banner. And I use ADW Launcher, but sometimes it boots into the Sense UI, which is okay. Moment of truth. Adfree has granted super user permissions. Now it wants me to reboot. Check that out. That's awesome. Now you can go through and uninstall Sprint apps and HTC apps, and then when you reboot, it sticks, it stays, it's not there anymore. Freaking awesome! And before I go real quick, I'm going to the market. We're going to download a badass app from Joey Cram. Allow. <laughs> uh, he said it was supported. I might have to download the one that he put on it, XDA. The one. This is the one from the market. Oh well. He says he supported it, so you can click browse, and you can go to the recovery that they posted, and you can install the recovery just in case you forgot to do it. But this is what would Josh do, and I'm out. Look at all these ROMs people are already cooking up. Just updated it, so, so let's see if it works. Yes, it works on here. You would just browse for the dot image and then you would click flash and it would flash you with the recovery. This is what would Josh do and now I'm out.